Thanks for staying with us. Taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. Still clear skies out there. Some pretty colors with the uh, last of the sunlight giving way to darkness that we'll see later on this night. Tonight, some reds and some oranges and some blues out there and a cold temperature. Feels kind of blue out there. Minus five. It feels like minus five. Winds right now are calm and winds are calm too. Relatively light across much of the area. They'll start to pick up out of the south as we head through the overnight hours tonight. We'll see temperatures drop off early tonight and then become steady to perhaps slowly rising by tomorrow morning. Other temperatures across the area. Minus eight in Arozo, nine below in Thiefera Falls and Fergus Falls. Minus four down in the uh, Sisseton area. Also four below Grand Forks and Devil's Lake. In many areas, the wind chill the same as the air temperature because there's very little wind, but we're starting to see some wind chills, especially off towards the west and north. Minus 15 in Jamestown, 20 below in Devil's Lake, minus 23 in Athefera Falls. And because of expected colder wind chills overnight tonight with the winds increasing out of the south, wind chill advisors for much of the area. This goes through 10 o'clock tomorrow morning for wind chills as cold as 25 to 35 degrees below zero. We'll start to see some milder weather tomorrow afternoon, but we're going to continue to see those southerly winds, and that means some chilly afternoon temperatures despite some warmer temperatures out there. Nothing doing in terms of precipitation in our area. In fact, much of the northern plains quiet. It's not until you get way out into Wyoming and western Nebraska before you see a few flurries and snow showers and also some lake effects snow coming off of Lake Michigan. Some northern portions of Indiana and Illinois. Some snow showers and some lower elevation rain showers in much of the uh, Rocky Mountain areas and some very unsettled weather off towards the uh, east and northeast. Some snow off towards the north. Some rain in the mid-Atlantic and some strong thunderstorms making their way through the Florida Peninsula. For us, again, cold overnight. Temperatures dropping not quite as far as last night. Again, temperatures, once those south winds start to kick on in, temperatures will be steady to slowly falling and then perhaps rise as we head towards tomorrow morning. We'll see those winds anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour with some stronger gusts, and that will create some very cold wind chills. Again, wind chill advisory through 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now, as we head through the day tomorrow, we're going to see quite a bit of sunshine for most of the day, but a very weak system will move on through, and that may give our far eastern counties a little bit more cloudiness and perhaps a few flakes of snow, not out of the question. And with the winds, even though we're going to get into the teens, some low teens in many areas, strong southerly winds are going to continue to create wind chills below zero for much of the day. As we head through tomorrow night, a little bit more cloudiness around and temperatures dropping on off into the single digits in most locations. Here in Fargo, we're going to start off the day with temperatures well below zero. And again, wind chills 20 to 35 degrees below zero by noon, warming up to around three. But south breeze is going to make it feel a lot colder than that and by afternoon around 10. And again, with those southerly winds, still going to see wind chills below zero. Our picture of the day, thank you to Andy Teal for this one from a few days ago. Some blowing snow out in the fields on a very cold and blustery day. We're going to use that as our background of our seven-day forecast. Tomorrow, 10, it will be breezy. A chance for a touch of snow north on Wednesday. And then look at the warm-up into the 20s to around 30 degrees as we head through much of the week and into the weekend. And a few chances of snow. Some weak systems will be moving on by on Saturday. And again, late Sunday and on into Monday. Right now, it looks like the northern half of the area is the best chance for snow, but that may change. So we'll continue to fine-tune that forecast as we head through the weekend. So we just need to wait to wait a day yeah. or two. Exactly. What's yeah. more definite are the warmer temperatures right around the corner. Nice. Thanks, Reverend. Mm -hmm.